Ting your kune men choking. Let the governor try. He said, Hey, stay here. This is your people. <laughs> okay. Your people. Go and kill them. I let me. Every time I come on air, I keep saying, What I will do to Wike, any ear that hears it will bleed blood. You see, Wike? On a material now, what it costs, with his little Hitler mustache. I will catch him. What I will do to Wike, any ear that hears it in this world will vibrate. His day is coming. You think I'm going to forget? <laughs> you, you are insane. You are absolutely insane. After dealing with Wike, anywhere you see Biafran people again, you cannot, you can never attack them. Nobody will attack them. After Wike, what that's the thing is that I'm saying it loud, so when I do it, you know it's me. I'm saying it loud and clear so the whole world will hear me. After dealing with Wike, anywhere you see Biafrans doing meeting or doing something, you you'll avoid them. Uh, uh, I will kill you today, hasn't seen, I want to die today. You will see it, all of you. You think uh, this is like before? Uh, you kill us, we run to eat you. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir, I want to bring to your attention, they killed 50 of us today at National High School. Uh, they killed uh, uh, 600 of us at home party every day. That's what we are going to be doing. Every time we rise, we are being peaceful. Check it, Bokun, Kondara. You are about to see you. You are about to see something you have never seen before in your useless lives. Like you, Nebundara. You are about to be shown one or my published nimble. Let the whole world see what is going on. These are the same people that told us that killer hate men are foreigners. That's what they told us. Those killing you that are foreigners. And you know who said it? I think it was Buhari when he was alive. In 2016, because he died in 2017, Buhari, when he was alive in 2016, said, killer headsmen are foreigners. Arrested ones cannot speak any Nigerian language. Now, Fulani, you people are defending foreigners to come to my land to kill me. I have never seen anything of this sort before. I have never, ever seen. Who are the people that brought violence into our land? Who brought violence into our land? This is not Fulani headsmen. This is not Fulani people. The same Fulani you told us are foreigners. Please publish it. Put it on my page. Killer headsmen are foreigners. So are they no longer foreigners? Have they all returned back to Futajalon where you got them from? Arrested ones cannot speak any Nigerian language. If uh, today is foreigners, tomorrow is foreign. It's our custom today. Tomorrow is fine. Just playing with people, playing with all of you. That is a. Hey, hey, hey. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. We okay, I'm going to set an example with. I'll set an example with him. Chineke Oyoko. Chineke Oyoko. I'm telling you the truth. That man. <laughs> what that man did I Did he know people? Hey, my goodness. Two power people, young men, young women. Full and uncircumcised bastards. We are raping them at military camp in the north. Our women. That we took from Obibu. We took from Obibu. Took them to the north and they were big. Hey. She not to my brother. Anybody who says to me, forgive we can, even Satan cannot forgive you. We can must be made an example of that others may learn. And I'm saying it because when it happens, you know, it was done by Nam the Kano. Don't blame anybody, it's me that will do it. We can. I got up one and we can. Oh God. Let's continue to preach this gospel of heaven. Open blessing is a crime. If you don't know, let me tell you now. It is a crime, an abomination before God and before man. No foreigner has been prosecuted. They are foreigners, so nobody can prosecute them. And you are in one Nigeria, claiming you are in one Nigeria, doing all this your nonsensical unity, talking rubbish every day. What idiot wrote today at this day uh, for this day? Super. Thank you, Editor. That uh, uh, I act outside the law. That is idea. These are the people that claim that they went to school. Nobody prosecuted. Not one single foreign. Not one. Not one. But they are foreigners, oh. No foreigners, foreigners. Killing us in our land. You come to our land, you rape our girls, you cut them into pieces. People pretend nothing happened because it's not their sister, it's not their daughter. That is what foreigners have reduced all of us to. 
I remember in those days when something happens to one person and everybody will rise in unison and condemn it and condemn it and condemn it oh my goodness my goodness unbelievable unbelievable <laughs> we must continue police is your friend <laughs> the Bible say that uh, 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 that full and heads men should be dealt with under the law which law this law that they're disobeying the same law that says that you can't even move cattle out of the north that's what the law says that's the law you want uh, the police to deal with and the police cannot enforce it because it is a foreignized police department every security architecture is run by the Fulani. their agenda is the same they may disagree on the on the approach or modalities but the agenda is always the same always the same to conquer you and you know the funniest thing they are like okay mouse in the house when he's biting you is blowing breeze at the same time so you won't know how they are confusing they have confused almost 80 percent of you in the zoo confused confused they have set confusion amongst all of you some want to be the presidency you're the president let's change the government by that time they are firmly entrenched in your forest and in your farmlands and for that person to prove that he or she is a detribalized president of Nigeria, they say, oh, leave them to stay there. And for those asking us to support the presidency, we supported them to be governor, so, and they killed us in our thousands. As the president, and they'll send jets now to kill everybody now, to please the foreign. You don't know that? The worst mistake we can ever make in our lives is to look at one of these wretched souls and say, let them become president of Nigeria. We are, we are doomed. Tell me the governor in the East that didn't kill Biafans. Just tell me, name one person. They all killed Biafans, all of them. These are the people you wanted to go to. They killed you when they were in New Guacha, in Port Harcourt, New Guacha. They killed you. They killed you. Is it, is it from Abuja where they can no longer see you? Surrounded by, by Danchiki and Abada. Hey, your life is over now. If you don't know, let me tell you. These are the things that people need to understand. That is why we do what we do. And I want the world to understand how serious we are about what we are pursuing. He's bad police. They are destroying evil businesses in Kano, in Bauji, everywhere. Nobody's talking. You know that we have been so dehumanized. Dehumanized. To the extent whereby if they, they kill an evil person or destroy their business in Kano, it's no longer news. <laughs> It's not news now. Is that way? Is that why news? During election, they can disenfranchise you. It's not news. Somebody will come out and destroy polling stations because there is a preponderance of Biafran voters that they destroy in broad daylight. Koro koro. Nothing will happen because you are nobody, but not any longer. IPOB is here, and ESN has come. They can destroy our businesses in the north. We come back to the east to farm. They bring their cattle to destroy it as well. And we are in one Nigeria, fighting for unity of Nigeria. <laughs> does, does that sound normal to you? Of course it doesn't. It doesn't. People shouldn't double into issues that are above their station. Omar, he said he wants criminals cleared from southeast forests. Yes. <laughs> we'll help you do that. Don't worry. We'll clear everywhere. Don't, don't disturb yourself. Go and be sleeping. The pronouncement has been made. ESM will enforce it rigorously and without mercy. If you think that what happened in Bende is bad, in Isipata is bad, watch what will happen in Lebanon. Let me see that. Let me get a report that is a cattle somewhere. Cattle. Cattle. Nama. 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 Dear me. Lord have mercy. And I'm warning the police and the army because you will go and attach yourselves to them. You want to protect this uh, full and match, the Atlantic Ocean. You want to protect them. <laughs> I'm warning everybody, you know, let no cattle in 11, let no cattle come outside at all, at all, at all. I don't care or mind where it is. In the entire East, I don't want to see any cattle anywhere. 
So all these editors, they will now give you money because that's what they do. Once in a while, Lai Mohammed will dispose some brown envelope to all of you. you. You are prepared now to write your junk. But before you write your rubbish, please, make yourselves become acquainted with the laws of Nigeria, the laws of the zoo. It says that we have every right to stop Fulani from moving their cattle from place to place. That is what the laws of Nigeria says, please, for goodness sake, for your information. For your information. These are the things you must understand. I'm not even going to talk about the fact that um, the east is very small compared to the north. Yet in the north you don't find space for your cattle. It's in the east that uh, cattle will graze. We are saying no to that. It can never ever happen. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. You came to our land. You settled in our land without paying any rent. In our forest. You use uh, the crops, our farm, our farm produce as food for your cows. We allowed you. You went from there to kidnapping, to raping, and to killing our people. So ESN was the last resort. No option. After killing our sister, actually, and raping her, cutting her up into pieces. You think I will stay and remain? You think I'm like a Hanese? All these idiotic governors? Is that what you think? That we're going to keep quiet? Our wives to do anything you like? <laughs> of course not, man. It's not going to be possible. Today we are making it very clear. If all the oppressed people unite, if all the oppressed people unite in the damnable zoological republic, everything will be fine. In as much as I love Europe and my people, I, I love them to bits. I'm being honest with you. I have those of them that I respect in global land. They are part of, they, 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 they gave Fulani the leeway to do what they're doing. How the Yoruba, had the West and the East come together a long time ago, this is rubbish, can't happen now. No, it can't happen. In the East, they will use the Fulefus, the traitors. And in the West, they will use uh, those that consent with Muslims, like the Tinubu to penetrate and cause havoc. But there's one good thing about Yoruba people, they, they never ever allow religion to be cloud a sense of judgment. That's one thing I like about them. Once with these two, once the whole South says no, it will never happen. They will push you, they will cajole, they will bribe, they will do whatever they can to try to shift you, to move you. You must remain steadfast. And Fulani will run. That was exactly what the Shehu of Branu did to them. What the Shehu of Branu did to them. That is why I read something that my good friend and their brother wrote. Dele Momodu, he said he was uh, as brilliant as the Chinese, the Koreans, the Indians put together. Why are egos denied key positions in Nigeria? If you don't trust them and they say they want to go, why are you then stopping them? When people speak, I, I don't believe in Nigeria, but had I believed, if I, if I had any belief in the zoo or the viability of the zoo, these are the sort of people that should be the president of Nigeria. Because of their policies. It's not where somebody calls their policies. Even the so called the, the millions, the wretched, full and slaves in government houses in the East running for vying for presidency or vice, I should say. None of them have, has ever said this before. That they, we are going to turn the East into the hub of, of the technological advancement, the Silicon Valley of Africa. No, they can't say it. Yeah, because if they say it, Fulani will bring their cow. Do you understand it now? This is I don't believe in the zoo. Had I had any belief in the zoo, this is the type of man I would have voted for to become the president of the zoo. It's your policies that matter. It is better for me that, or, or do you think that had previous administrations turned the East into the technological hub that it is, natural by nature, do you think we'll be doing what we're doing? Instead of telling us, you are traders. Oh, you must, you must are good. They are good traders, you know. Oh, people from uh, uh, um, our, our Ibibia people, they are good at being houseboy. Those who are in the, in the coastal region, they are good at uh, uh, looking for fish, to dry, smoke fish. <laughs> we were never given our dues at all. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, your policies are the things that matter. And so far, the only person who's ever made any kind of sense to me is Dele Mumudu. This is how you discuss people. I don't believe in the zoo, but anybody who is interested in the zoo, just tell them in the north. 
let them take water and buy sumo. You know sumo, the one who used to pump water from the well to put in your tank, jiffy tank, in your home because the government can't even provide ordinary pipe bond water. Go and put in Kenji Dam or all those reserves in the north, in Arugungu River or Lake, pump water, use it to irrigate the fields. Go to Argentina and get high grade nutritional grass, plant it. After six months, you can feel, your cows will be as fat as the as the new Buhari from from Niger Republic. I can assure you that moving cattle from place to place like a shameless bunch of retards from the medieval period. I feel sorry for you people. That is the only advice I can give to all of you. Stop wasting everybody's time and just tell us whole heart our faces. I want to take your land from you and I'm going to use my cattle to do it. Than all this garbage. We are looking for grass. Move the water. Pharaoh used to do it in, in, in Egypt 2,000 years ago. Move water from... from Kenji has a dam, isn't it? Move the water now from the reserve. Use it. It's called it. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you don't know what is the meaning of irrigation. It's called irrigation. Irrigation. Janja weed. Irrigation. Move pump water from there. Any land you have, uh, some in Bauchi, any is after all you move pipe from 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 Biafra land to the to, to Chad. Could on your pipe, didn't you? Did you not? Know, of course you did. Ordinary to move water from Kainji Dam Reserve to, to five kilometers away to irrigate some land or arable like arable land to plant grass. Go to Argentina and they will give you grass for free. For free, they'll give you grass for free in Argentina. And then you can use it to do whatever thing that you want to do. You go and, and graze your cattle there all you like, all your life. That's entirely up to you. But as for us, we're not giving up. We are not considering not one iota, not one inch. So that when the time comes, you will say that I warned you in 11 days' time. You think Bender was bad? Is cattle was bad? Wait and see what is going to happen to you. Let me see cattle outside after 11 days. For those of you saying that we are doing this, taking losses, that is what your law says. Your law says you cannot move cattle from place to place. Irrigation, irrigation. Please, people should say this. Anytime you see Janja Weed anywhere, talking rubbish on Channel TV, you know, Channel is their main outlet. People without shame. If, if journalism is the type being practiced by Channel Television, Journalism back work, wretched beast. It is irrigation. Move water and use it to water the land. And then I'm sure Argentina will give you free grass. The, seed, the seedlings is called. You plant it, you get all your grass, and your white fat mama will be there enjoying uh, themselves. They can be having parties than the disgraceful practice of living in our forests and telling us rubbish every blessed day. We don't want any farm settlements, no full and economies, nothing whatsoever. Stay where you are. Stay in your land and do whatever you like with it. Not in Biafra land and not in my time, definitely. With that, we have come to the end of our program this very day. Just to warn each and every one of you, in 11 days time, any cattle we see outside is gone. It's gone and it's gone for your information. You think we are joking? You think we are joking? Uh, try us and see now. Bring your fighter jets and everything, assemble them together to come and defend people who are breaking the law. What Fulani headsmen are doing is illegal. They are breaking the law and they must be held to account. And with that, we have come to the end of our program this very day. There will be further announcements coming. Very, very important, please. Wherever you are, you continue to pray for our brave men and women of Eastern Security Network. They are doing exceptionally well. If you have not supported them, try and do so. And make sure you are doing so via the appropriate and the right channels, please. And any country without... Any country we have on this very earth 
that doesn't have a financial secretary, please endeavor to do so. Make sure that you have one as quickly as possible. Very, very quickly. A finance officer, rather. And it has to be a woman, please. It must and should be a woman. We are pleading with you. Thank you very much for listening to us this very evening. And as always, people ask me my religion. They say, Judaism is my religion is Biafra. Biafra is our religion. Here on radio, Biafra is where we worship. And I may follow us, I don't worship any idol. Because God said so via Moshe. In the book of Exodus. You have no other God beside me. He's an idiot. Biblical idiot. I don't worship, I don't make pharaohs. I don't bow down before any garbage. I worship the almighty true God, the Lord of hosts of the heavens and the earth. Here is where we worship. Because only that very entity, Elohim Adonai El Shaddai is our God. From me, from here, with love in my heart for all of you and very special prayers for ESN and for the preservation of this holy family of IPOB worldwide from me from here. Good evening.